I didn't realize... I've never seen her face before now. You gonna be okay? You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just... a little... strange. The glamour is so effective, it's... invasive. But... just do what you need to do. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. It looks just like Faith's did. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. If the neck wound was the same, there might be a ribbon in her mouth, too. Anything? Nothing. So, it's not exactly the same. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It looks like it's failing, but glamours aren't supposed to do that. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow. I need to open her coat. Bigby, just let me. We're making progress. Let's see what else we can find. I... Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here. Now that you're done smashing bottles on people, what have you found out? The glamour is defective. Defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. silk lingerie snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. What is that? It's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic, 
The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You may be right. One way to find out. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? I think I can figure it out. Something to do with these rings here. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think... This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Let me guess. It's my hair. Yeah. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh no. What is it? It's not Holly, it's... her sister Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows, she might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But... We should leave now. You ready? Yeah. This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. Alright, just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. 
You said it looked like Snow White. What the hell, Crane? Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. He fucking maimed you. Aren't you pissed? Cat got your nerve? What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Holly. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, easy! Ah, fuck! What'd I do? Ah! Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Gren, you gotta learn some new lines. Let me tell you. All right, then. Actually, have there been any updates? Holly, your sister's dead. She's the one we found early this morning. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound! Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... All right. Clear out. Give her some room. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. We don't know what's important yet. I mean, isn't that evident? She was killed for a brooch. Just next time clear it with me, all right? Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? about our life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh, God. I'm sorry. That was probably about... She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <sighs> Millie. 
Anything else you can tell us? I don't think so. Like I said, we didn't talk much. That's all right. You've been more than helpful. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's, it's a kind of, it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or, I don't know. I'll check with the deputy mayor about that. He'd want to be kept in the loop. This is really important to me. Look, why don't you come down with me to the business office and we'll see what we can do. That club? I'll go down there now, see what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. I'm looking for someone. Finding you someone is our specialty, with the clubs closed. <laughs> not quite what I meant. That's too bad. I guess you'd better talk to Georgie? You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I don't much care how he feels about it. Ah, well, you two will get along just swimmingly. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Listen, you could be in danger. Oh, sweetie, we're all in danger. Folks, what do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. Nice place. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to... Hey! Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you! I didn't say stop! For fuck's sake! You! Stay right there! Don't even think about sitting down! I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement! What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I'm not here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that! <laughs> you just stopped in for the chips, then? Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. 
Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Who told you? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamoured. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamoured to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then! You're gonna hit me? Go ahead! That's what you wanna do, right? Oh, no! Fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Fuck's sake. Fuck off, hands. Hey! just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. 